They want more from us. The next test. the altar. is hidden. She understands. What is hidden? Can she? Don't doubt. Bring it back to them. Let them see. You are not like the others. still yeah. don't lose the thread the hidden thread
In the lands of your birth, and in these lands too, they know that people can be taken by the secret fair ones. If you are not careful and do not keep to the pathways, you may find yourself among them. What does it mean? It's a sign. You're on the right path. Yes. Yes, she can still hear them. She can. We can follow them. You have to follow them now. Over there. It's coming from down there. came to the farm where the fire was burning. All was peaceful. By the time he reached them, his cloak was frozen stiff, and he looked like nothing more than some huge troll. The frightened farmhands struck out at him with the first things to hand, the burning logs from the fire. Grettir fought them off and got the fire he sought. But the sparks from the logs spread fire all over the house, and nobody survived the blaze. You. Are you the one, Senwa? She has to be. The lake is here too. Look at the water. This doesn't feel right. So deep and dark. It is trying to claim us. Trying to take you down with it.
where they seek the hidden folk to. This is not a good sign. What were they doing here? They will kill you. If they find you, they will kill you. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. No, these bodies, they are different. Troika. Troika. Careful, Senua. Scalds say that Grettir swam back across the strait, keeping the fire safe from the water. His friends applauded Grettir's bravery, but when word spread about the massacre at the farm, people took against Grettir. Nobody wanted anything to do with him, and when the news reached the Althing in the summer, Grettir was pronounced an outlaw. All doors would hence be shut to him.
has been chosen. Fargrima saw it. The part of her she keeps hidden, pushed down, covered with silence. Fargrima saw that too. No matter how much she tries to hide it from the world. And now that part of her that scared her for so long, that she fought so hard, has brought her to this place, chosen, special. But will she be enough? What will they ask of her? Can she give it? Once again, she is leaving the sun, leaving the world, plunging into the unknown places which no light touches. She has always been afraid of the dark, the deep, still silence that blinds her eyes till she thinks she will never see again. But there is a thread this time that connects her to the ones above. She has promises to keep. She will not let them down. to the east, they know that when a traveler finds themselves lost, it is the fault of the Vadadaj, who wait at the crossroads to trick souls passing by. The only remedy is to let your horse lead you home, because beasts have no souls. But if you have no horse, your soul is lost forever. father was right. Maybe you are nothing. Maybe you will die here. Just like the others. No one will remember you. You will be nothing. Don't let the torch die. If 
the light goes out, we will be lost here forever. Did they have to fight? She needs to be careful. Careful, Senor. Gretir, now an outlaw, took rest on the island of Haramsoy with a man called Audun. Gretir saw a great yellow glow like a fire rising from the ground. Audun told him it was coming from the burial mound of Carr the Old, who ever since he died had haunted the island, and warned him to stay away.